As you might imagine, we encounter quite an assortment of people in our travels who are truly wild about wheels. And in our opinion, this man may be one of the wildest about them. If you've ever picked up a hot rod magazine anywhere from the late 50s to the very latest issue, you're almost sure to recognize his name. Dean Jeffries. For 30 years, he's been involved in just about every area of automobile design, construction, and customization. His Los Angeles workshop, tucked up close to a busy L.A. freeway, has built hot rods, full customs, and many of the cars which have shown up on TV and in the movies. The Coyote from TV's Hart Castle and McCormick, the Monkey Mobile, Black Beauty from the Green Hornet, and the Hover Car from the movie Spaceballs. He's designed and performed movie car stunts and has painted dozens of the world's most successful race cars. Listening to him talk about his life's involvement with cars is like listening to a verbal history book of a uniquely American phenomenon, offbeat automotive expression. I was born and raised down in Compton, California. My dad was a mechanic, so I kind of hung around cars all my life, knew a little bit about cars. And kept going, I got into pinstriping back in the year, uh, that was in 49, 50, 51, and then through there. So after pinstriping, I kept learning how to paint cars and doing flame work and a little bit of artwork and stuff like that. And from there, got me involved in doing some race cars, and it just kept climbing, climbing to, um, and each time I would want to challenge something new and different from body work to paint work to designing to, you name it, I would get myself involved in it. Dean's office is literally wallpapered with pictures of the cars he has had a hand in designing and building. He's still very busy creating new and unusual vehicles for auto shows, TV, and movies. We asked him about some of the cars in his shop, like the Manta Ray. Manta Ray built uh, 28 years ago, 29 years ago. Uh, it's one of my most favorite cars only because uh, it was my first that I built from the ground up, starting off with just a pieces of framing and kept going from there. I uh, built it for the Oakland Roadster Show as a challenge. It's all hand formed aluminum body with a Ford Cobra 289 motor. The Spaceball car is kind of a, a strange uh, setup because I wanted something a little more unique and different. So I put the engine in the rear of it and used a rack steering and flipped it over and made it rear steering plus rear wheel drive and everything so as you go down the street and you turn it it looks like it's hovering off the ground because the back end pivots around i got a one of the original gt40 ford roadsters that i'm putting all together right now and i'm putting it all back the way it was originally back in the 50s and 60s my 34 ford is probably one of my most uh, enjoyable cars i have i use it quite a bit and drive it around quite a bit take it to a lot of meats and things like that. There's a lot of work in it. It's been chopped and channeled, sectioned, took four inches out of the body. It's now a real racy race car, but it cruises along down street good. It's just a real fun, fun little car. This behemoth parked outside Dean's shop may look familiar if you saw the movie Damnation Alley. It was one of the more daunting projects to emerge from his workshop. The Landmaster was built for a movie called Damnation Alley. It's about the Third World War, where everything is completely destroyed throughout the world, and this is one of the surviving vehicles. So the Landmaster was a survival-type vehicle that could go in the water, it could paddle itself through water, it could run up and down mountains and through desert, it could do just about anything. So it was a, it was a major project to build it. Um, a lot of weight, weighed 23,000 pounds, it was 12-wheel drive, and it floated. Um, a lot of mechanisms, a lot of little trick devices and things in it. Sets out here in front of my shop. Well, I don't know how many more years it's going to be sitting there. It's been sitting for 10 or 15 now, and it may sit for another 15 or 20. I don't know, but it still runs. I can fire it up anytime, and it, it works real well. Dean Jeffries has achieved the enviable goal of combining his unquenchable thirst for building one-of-a-kind vehicles with securing a successful business that has prospered for four decades. Who wouldn't be thrilled about waking up each day with the kind of attitude Dean Jeffries, automotive craftsman, wakes up with? Yeah, I really enjoy it. I have a lot of fun at it. I, I, I work at it as a hobby and as a fun thing. It's, it's, um, I started back, in, like I say, back in the 50s and it's been that way ever since. And I hope it stays that way the rest of my life.